Have you ever had problems with uh, popping your ears or unclogging your ears when you're going up a hill, traveling in an airplane? This is all normal, but some for some people it's quite severe and it's chronic. In other words, it happens on a regular basis over months or even years. We call this eustachian tube dysfunction. In other words, the inability of the pressure equalizing tube that goes from the back of the nose to the ear to equalize pressure as the atmospheric or outside pressure changes. Uh, the symptoms that result from this include pressure or plug sensation in the ear, sometimes a little muffled hearing, and a need to pop or unclog the ear. Uh, previously, uh, these patients uh, it, it took medical treatment, which we still recommend, such as nasal sprays, medications to alleviate allergies, and improving nasal congestion. However, if these are ineffective, uh, an option was placement of ear tubes, which was uh, a plastic tube placed into the eardrum to uh, take over the function of a person's own eustachian tube. Now this uh, has a set of uh, problems uh, such as the caution on uh, getting water into the ear and this is particularly problematic for people who are swimmers, uh, divers, and uh, so forth. More recently, approximately a year ago, uh, a device to dilate the eustachian tube using a balloon has become FDA approved and available. Um, so this procedure is called eustachian tube dilation and it's done with uh, uh, an instrument like this uh, that uh, inflates the balloon at the tip and gently dilates the cartilage component of the eustachian or pressure equalizing tube. This is done uh, through the nose and here at Nevada Sinus Relief we're performing this for about a year now uh, right here in the office setting under a comfortable uh, local anesthesia protocol. So it's a, a new option, uh, innovative, to alleviate eustachian tube dysfunction and restore the ability to equalize pressure uh, as in situations with altitude change uh, or uh, patients who experience more problems with allergies, sinus infection, colds. Uh, we've used this now for um, people who are airplane pilots, uh, flight attendants, part of the air crews, as well as uh, a variety of uh, individuals who are just eustachian tube challenged. And we're finding uh, good results. We're now part of a study uh, that's multi-center across the United States to determine the, uh, further determine the effectiveness and uh, uh, benefits of this procedure.